Hello everybody, welcome into the hobby bar. This is Jason, welcome. If you do any hobby or any art of any kind, feel free to jump in, get out your medium, join in, have fun. If you don't, feel free to kick back, relax, and just chill. Have a good time, hopefully. Anyway, today we'll be working on Instead of the Vanguard Raptors from the last few episodes, I wanted to get these slotted bases squared away. Uh, if you notice on this one, there's a gap in front and behind her foot. I wanted to get those squared away. On this model, oh, she has a little nubbin on the bottom of her foot. And I wanted to get the rest of that gap filled. And on the other one, I cut off the nubbin like a mad lad, and... Well, I'm just going to have to build her something to stand on, because she can't really stand on the gap, so you're going to have to fill it all and get it all squared away. These three miniatures are for Super Dungeon Explorer. It is a game from Ninja Division at this point. It used to be super, uh, Soda Pop Miniatures. Uh, yeah. I kind of wanted to give some other minis a shot cleanse my palette of, like, realistic stuff for a bit, so chibi models are fun for that. So what we have here is some uh, Kill Force 9 green stuff. It's a two-part epoxy, and uh, yeah, you just mix the two parts in roughly equal portions, and you'll get a, uh, effectively, a little plastic that, well, after it cures, you'll kind of get a plastic that'll, uh, yeah, works great for filling gaps and stuff. Uh, it's been a, quite a while since I've used this, so the blue is being difficult for getting out of there. You can see the blue wanted to get everywhere anyway, so, yeah, that was fun to find out. What I should do is get some of the green stuff that's more in tape form because then I can just cut off it more precisely what I actually need instead of using these kind of two separate tubes and hopefully getting about even amounts of each and hoping for the best. Um, looking at it, I should probably pick up the kind that is not touching, so most companies that do green stuff or gray stuff I think is what Privateer Press calls it. Um, if they do this kind of stuff, it is already touching each other for the two parts. And yet you technically should cut out that middle part where, it's, where both ends are touching. But I figured there are some places that sell it where it's just the two tapes and they are not touching. And I figure if these want to be super difficult, I'll just pick up some of that instead. and go from there. But I really don't have to use green stuff a whole heck of a lot usually, so I'll just continue fighting with these two different big old blobs of the stuff. Uh, what I should have done here was wet the tool first, this way it wouldn't stick the tool as easily, but silly me. That happened. It's all good. Go ahead and get a little bit of each, and get to work on filling these gaps. Uh, for the model that is most pretty much done being painted right now, the sort of fighter one for the fox girl with the orange hair, uh, I'm thinking of doing sort of that gym hard rubber floor that is that comes in like basically puzzle pieces, I guess you could say is the easiest way to describe it for how it connects up to each other. Um, and I think I'll do just a black floor for it kind of a thing. Um, I may make like a corner of it white or something just to break up the shape. Like sort of make a puzzle design in some of the corners just so it's like she's at a cross of some of the black area or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I really don't want to do like a blue padded gym floor kind of look, because that was my other idea for it, but 
I figure that would blend in with her uh, gear and her skirt a little too much, so I didn't want to do that. I wanted to... I'm thinking of going with more of a sort of squared up gym look for her. Uh, the other two aren't even painted yet, so we'll figure that out when we get to them. Uh, since they're from Relic Knights, they're like Relic Knight crossover models, I might do more of like a street look, a futuristic street look for them. But I'm not sure. We'll figure it out as we, uh, when we cross that road. But yeah, I wanted to get these three, uh, good to go, just because I wanna, I wanna finish up that little chibi fox fighter person. She's been sitting around painted up without her base being done yet, though, for a little while. And the other two, well, they fell off their base when I was moving stuff around, so time to fill that gap. Uh, what you'll notice me doing here is thinning out the globs of green stuff. I like to do this this way, which you'll see me doing a bit here, is I will actually wrap them around each other. This way more of it is sort of touching it's a, touching the other parts before I start kneading it into itself. Uh, for most other uh, green stuff, like the tapes, I would probably do the same thing. Just roll it up, thin it out, and then get to sort of rolling it around itself, making a twist with it, and then kneading it. This way it uh, can mix a little better in my mind than just starting taking two chunks of it and while they're separate and just start squidging them together and hoping for the best. So with that, we'll go ahead and start getting up some of this green stuff to fill some of these gaps. I believe I used most of this first bit for only one of the bases, if memory serves. Um, but we'll see how it goes. It's been a bit since I've recorded this. Been a bit busy with trying to figure out uh, some other things with color correction, getting socials going, needed to get my Instagram up. Still haven't done that in a few years of painting, so get all of this going and hope for the best. Let's see, is there anything else we want to talk about? I don't think so offhand. But yeah, I uh, hope you all can just kick back, enjoy for a while, get stuff done that you need to get done in what will hopefully be less than 30 minutes. i uh, kind of been going over 30 minutes, which I didn't really want to do. It's not really I had in mind. Because the current situation has quite a bit of streaming available. And I know there's quite a bit of like chill streams, art streams, and all that available. So my main purpose of these was to sort of give a relatively short like, if you have maybe 30 minutes between streams that you're watching, instead of just waiting somewhere or maybe finding somewhere else to hang out, you can just pull up one of these videos and chill for a little bit in between streams. But apparently that didn't happen because I made them a little longer than I wanted to. Ideally, I'll try to keep them between 20-30 minutes, so even this one, for just making the green stuff and filling the gaps, I think it comes out to around 40 minutes of footage that I'll have to cut back. Uh, I was getting a bit carried away <laughs> and ambitious with the amount of footage to edit down into a video for before, so... Hmm. We'll have to figure something out. If you have any ideas, like if you don't mind uh, cuts in sort of a stream alternative kind of idea, then feel free to leave them below. I mostly wanted to just go between speeding up and slowing down as needed uh, for various parts, but we'll see how things go. Uh, just because this is about 40 minutes of footage, I feel like I could either make cuts and or just speed most of it up and meet 
what I had in mind for a time area. But we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah. Just in case anyone prefers less talking and more just sort of background music, we'll go ahead and change to that here for a little while and uh, let y'all get your stuff done. Uh, while I continue working on this, and yeah, I think I'll just let it run up until the last call for this one. Um, so, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below, and yeah, get you all for the last call.
today's last call, everybody, will be did you have fun? Did you enjoy it? Did you get some stuff done? If you want to have a chat, down below in the comments, we can talk about stuff. Or if you have any ideas for other videos, feel free to throw them down below. Uh, next video I plan on working on the pretty straightforward uh, basing that I do. I'm one of the believers that basing should be simple. Uh, it sort of frames the model, is the way I think of it. If you do a very intricate base, it looks great, but I feel like it detracts from the model in a way, because then I'm looking ooh ah at your base, and while your model might look cool on the base, if it's too much effort, like there's, it's this weird striking a balance thing. If the base is super simple and boring, you're more likely to look at the model to me than the base itself and the work on the base. So I tend to do very straightforward basic stuff on the base. Um, and you'll we'll go over that with the Vanguard Raptors next episode. Uh, if there's anything you want to talk about, though, feel free to throw it below. You can have a conversation about it or if it should come or if it's something related to the, the vanguard raptor boys we can talk about the next video uh i believe these three chibis will be kind of on the back burner in the line of stuff after the vanguard raptors we're gonna do guild ball i want to finish up those rat catchers uh sooner rather than later just because they've been part of the group that's kind of been on hold for a while and then after them we can probably finish off the uh the base on that one the uh the fighty little fox chibi mini i need to find the name of that again I should look it up but after she's done not sure what we'll work on next i have to figure that out i might finish up the uh incarn for getting my Yanari faction done for Warhammer 40k or uh, we'll figure out what will come up on the docket after that but cause there's plenty of options and I'll we'll have to get to some stuff eventually but well, we'll get there but maybe I can use some of those turbo dork metallics on some sisters or pull out some of Quinn models and get some of that going. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyway. Uh, maybe I can make a poll when I'm done with the uh, Chibi model in that video and see what you all think for what to work on next after her. We'll see how that goes. But that's probably a few episodes away, at the very least. Anyway, back to this episode's last call. If y'all want me to kind of cut down footage and you're okay with that, let me know down below. Uh, I've, I figured since it's my sort of vision with this is more of a stream alternative, I don't really want to skip steps because I feel like if I'm skipping footage then it's more like a uh, tutorial kind of thing and I really didn't want to put out tutorials because there's more than enough of that on YouTube, I feel. So I kind of wanted to just provide sort of an alternative stream option. You know, maybe there's a gap between streamers you want to watch, and hey, you just want to have a chill time between then. Feel free to hang out here with me. You're on YouTube whenever you want, you know? Mainly because I can't really stream. My internet doesn't support that, so I need to find an alternative myself to doing that if I want to share what I'm doing with others. And figured, you know what? Maybe I can share it on YouTube with y'all. So, with that, let me know if you want me to do more edited stuff, like throw in some cuts, actually cut through the footage to shorten it up. Uh, still have some faster segments, just in case you want to see me do like a full application to one model and then I can just cut to the next part for the next color. Uh, or 
if you don't mind me just speeding up the footage. Uh, I might have to think about speeding it up even more in some cases, because I believe... I really do believe I want to get it to less than 30 minute episodes. Somewhere around 20 to 30 minutes, because I figure, hey, if a streamer runs long, maybe you might only have a 20 minute gap between them and when the next streamer you're watching comes on, so maybe there's that. Um, that's why I wanted to try to shoot for 20 to 30 minutes, though. Because I figured that's a reasonable amount of time for someone to look for a stream alternative for a little while. Uh, not sure if there's a better name for that, though. If there is, feel free to leave it below as well for ideas of what I can call it. And yeah, I think those will be the last calls for the day. Uh, possibly discussion ideas, as usual. Um, if there's anything in particular you want me to talk about on the Vanguard Raptors as we wrap them up with the basing. Again, I'm going to do it super simply though, so hopefully I'll be able to cut that down shorter. Um, and we'll get to the poll for what to do after the chibi when that comes. Though I guess I should throw up the poll in the last episode for the gill ball guys. This way I can have the idea while I'm editing the chibi person and throwing her up. Uh, and then... Shoot. Thought there was a fourth thing for the last call. Oh yeah, editing. Alright, do y'all want me to actually do some cuts and cut down the footage? Or just, would you rather me just speed it up and keep it all relatively stream-like, just with sped up portions, even even faster sped up portions at this rate, uh, instead of, um, instead of cuts. Because either way is fine with me, but I feel like I need to start making cuts and just skipping uh, areas of time instead of uh, speeding up time. Because speeding up time, it's still staying long. So let me know below and that. Go ahead and close up the bar. Have a good one, y'all. Take care.